Anyways, Love Kawajiri him. was not the only Japanese fighter to be making his UFC debut. Former deep lightweight champion Katsunori Kakuno also looked impressive, taking out Quinn Mulhern. As a matter of fact, sent him into retirement. Yeah, Mulhern decided that maybe he couldn't uh, perform at this level. And, you know, who are we to judge? If that's that's what you choose, move on. Uh, good luck in your future. But, uh, you know, Kakuno in this one caused Mulhern to hesitate. So it wasn't as exciting a fight, although he's a very interesting fighter. I want to show people what you can expect from him in, the, him in the future by taking a look back at some of his greatest hits. This is a really interesting fight. And look at this dude. He's going to a karate tournament right here. Jocelyn's Karate Tournament in Hamilton, Ontario. No, he's fighting. And check it out. He wants to draw punches out of you and slip his head there and counter. That's the game. Your hands are low. You're saying, throw punches at me. My head won't be there. Or kicks. And look how nice that is. Slips this kick out of the way and answer. Traditional martial arts technique used perfectly in a cage or in this case in a ring. And drawing out the punches to be able to answer. Very simple process in theory, but he is better at it than you are, and he's going to make you pay. And if you will not strike with him, he's going to kick your legs, and that will cause you to have to either enter or kick with him yourself. And you see what happens as you enter, you get hit, and he comes and attacks you. This is a very talented guy. Watch him make you flinch, and he's still going to drive those kicks into your legs. What's that going to do? Well, it's either going to hypnotize you, make you kick back, or make you attack him inside. But look what happens if you don't think and you're not safe and he tricks you here one step back ba oh ow boom right to the head we got to see that one again watch as he causes you to come forward by stepping back loads that back left leg and delivers it to the chin crack that is nasty and he uses this kick throughout that left leg of his is incredibly powerful look the step forward this time we'll see it again there with the kick to the body you see this a number of times I want to see it one more time after this one to the body and he will finish with punches and you are gonna be out and he's done this one more than once watch step left to the the body right punch to the face and oh man you are done you want to see it one more time and this one maybe get the kids out of the room because this one is nasty steps in finishes you to the liver hey the ref doesn't want to stop it well no problem hey you can't do this in the UFC and damn good thing for those 155 pounders out there this dude is scary he's also a little crazy flying capo kick no problem this guy has some kooky karate you got to keep an eye on Kakuno man he's gonna be a lot of fun to watch in the UFC and Robin when you think about some of the matchups the UFC could potentially put together John McDessey or Anthony Whoa. and Jukawani, just some crazy styles and that uh, Gojiru karate style of Katsunori Kakuno, very interesting. Yeah, very, very interesting. And what I loved when I was breaking him down and looking back through all these, early in his MMA career, he actually fought with his hands up, got away from his traditional style, went and did that for a bit and then thought, you know what, I'm so comfortable in what I spend a lifetime doing. He, he fights with that karate style. It's going to be very interesting to watch how he does.